Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, when first asked about General Vance's sexual misconduct, the Prime Minister said he wasn't aware of any allegations. But in last Friday's press conference, he pivoted from any allegations to specific allegations. Is the Prime Minister committed to zero tolerance or only to almost sort of zero tolerance? Women in uniform and all Canadians deserve to know. What did the Prime Minister know about misconduct allegations against General Vance, and when did he know it? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, anyone who serves in the Canadian Armed Forces or anywhere in government or across the country deserves to have a safe work environment, deserves to be supported if they come forward with allegations, and that's exactly what we've always done in every situation. After the Defence Ombudsman received a complaint, the Minister directed him to independent officials who could investigate. My office was aware of the Minister's direction to the Ombudsman, but my office and I learned the details of the allegations in media reports over the past couple of months. Well, member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. To understand what the Prime Minister knew about the cover-up of sexual misconduct in the Canadian Forces, the facts matter. The Defence Minister knew in March 2018. Janine Sherman, the Deputy Secretary of Cabinet, knew in March 2018. Michael Wernick, then Deputy Minister to the Prime Minister, and Elder Marquez, a senior advisor to the Prime Minister, also knew. Is it the Prime Minister's position that no one made him aware of the allegations of misconduct against General Vance three years ago? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. My office was aware of the Minister's direction to the Ombudsman to follow up with appropriate authorities. But my office and I learned the details of the allegations over the past months. 